Addict Daybreak, is it is Addict ready. No SCV got me already. Two rock in the second game. This is the Dutch StarCraft League. Qualifiers number three. Glad that I get that right sometime. Yes, and actually, well, no SCV Cup Mule is again quite far in this tournament, just like the, four, the first time. The second qualifier, he did not participate, but maybe he get enough points to qualify anyway for the second stage of this tournament. But meanwhile, we are in the game. And we have in the top, he's 1-0 behind the blue Protoss player, it's Edic. <laughs> I like you throwing that T just at the last moment. We, were, we weren't expecting it anymore. And his <laughs> opponent, the pink Terran player, it is no SUV, God Mule, who won his first game convincingly with a very, very greedy build. Well, I actually still think that that color is purple and not pink. Uh, well, too bad, because it's pink. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. Pink. <laughs> <laughs> Let's uh, make a huge deal about this. No, uh, um, so I mean, okay, so this is a best of three series, right? And it always gives a little bit of a different dynamic. So Addict now knows he's up against a very good player who can uh, play a very, very strong macro build. And he did mess up his early game just a little bit. I mean, it might not have seemed much, but a little poke that he did with uh, a probe and a zealot and a stalker he isn't you're not supposed to lose two out of three units and get hull damage on your stalker yeah I mean, or maybe he was just you know playing some kind of mind games or whatsoever because if you no man you know you don't lose units on purpose i mean there, i think there is no no but, but almost but, never <laughs> or what were you, what were you about to say this is yeah. uh no no I, I just wanted to say that um he was, in the previous game, Ad Addict had um, the expansion on the natural and he opened with four gates. So normally, if you want to do some four gate pressure, you move out with a stalker and a zealot to protect your probe. Maybe uh -huh. he was doing something like that, you know? But I'm not a uh, well, proto specialist, so uh, do you disagree? Uh, well, I still think it was a mistake, but in any case, Simon score. I mean, he sent out them, uh, of course, but uh, he shouldn't have lost. Um, but okay. Well, let's see about his chances uh, in this game. Also, uh, a kind of similar opening, because uh, just taking gas, going for cybercore, of course, versus Terran, you don't want to be too greedy, because uh, well, they can punish that quite harshly. And uh, notice if he got mule is doing something different. Look at that. He's going for a one-one-one build. Really? And wow. uh, well, we see him play qu quite greedily in the past games. This will probably, uh, well, I want to say it will mean some banshees. There, the second refinery is going down now, I'm almost sure. Oh, it's going to be a zealot scout here from uh, Addict. And the Nexus will be taken. So, actually, versus a 1 1 1 situation. Uh, this could get quite rough for him and actually the uh, factory oh it's just gonna float here it's going to build some hellions then hmm. so it will be like hellions to banshees maybe yeah that's more like a, a zerg build but uh, no matter but uh, addict must know what's going on right now yes he's up to he knows he knows no SV good mule is up to something and meanwhile he drops a mule as uh, he of course likes to do. Tech lab going down, so we will see some Banshees and we will see some Hellions. So let's see what uh, Noise Vigo Mule can do with that. Actually, have we cast a game from Noise Vigo Mule where he used a lot of Hellions and go into a crazy mech oriented uh, play versus a Protoss player? Yes, and we also have casted that TVT uh, on Whirlwind actually, and it was like. Epic battle cruisers versus lots of Thor and other stuff, <laughs> which was also a crazy game, and I believe that was in the CYT Open number two, or right. it, or it was yeah no it was there yes. If you haven't seen that game yet, I suggest you do, because it was a really great game. I forgot the opponent, but I believe it was no it was not Rocky. No, I, I, forgot. I don't know, man. I don't know. But we have Hellions moving across the map, and well, there's a Zealot there, but of course. 
some micro. It will take a lot of micro though to take down a single zealot, but four SCVs, Hellions I mean, uh, should do it. There we wow. go. And it's going to be Cloak Banshees, wow. Yeah, but uh, okay. so much gas going down. I mean, Hellions only cost minerals, don't forget. So, he has a lot of gas to spend, and what better way to spend it than? Yes, but Addict, I think he knows what's up, because his um, <coughs> Robo Facility is uh, is already uh, has already finished. Yeah, man, I, I think he goes for an observer, qu observer quite soon, but let's see what he's going to do. And I like this positioning here, of course, if you have the perfect timing, you need only one sentry to keep those pesky Hellions out of your base. <laughs> Look at how many Hellions there are already. But uh, they don't really want to engage Stalkers, or maybe in these numbers they do. Wait, oh, all right. he's going to drop a false field? No, he doesn't need to. But uh, yeah, definitely those Stalkers are there to catch any Banshees, but now they are being pulled to deal with the Hellions. And while there are more than oh. enough... Boy, an addict is choosing for, uh, a mo for an immortal instead of an observer and observer and this oh. banshee is lurking right there so he's no SUV god mule is going to do a lot of damage to the economy of addict if and he moves on of course he doesn't know this he's waiting for his cloak to finish and then he will move in that's a wise decision actually a raven in production right now for no god mule who still hasn't taken his base but he's building his uh, okay, command center there follow this banshee one kill two well, that goes very good. That he does it very good. But the let's see, the observer is going to be chrono boosted out. Yeah, and actually chrono boosting an observer is quite quick, but still the banshee did uh, well, no, not not too much damage. Actually, just four four kills right there. But of course, a little bit of mining time lost, and the second banshee is also lurking, as you like to say. And the second Banshee will probably move in from the other side. Yes, that's why he know, we know this guy well, because he is famous about his double plays and stuff. Yeah, he always tries to pull one, man. It's it's really great to see. And there's just one Observer on the map, yes, so... Yes, and he, again, Addict chooses for an Immortal. So, he's well, got only one Observer. That's quite ballsy. Maybe he thinks that this uh, is the first Banshee, but... He, is keeping his observer right there. N now we'll see. Yeah, now we see the second observer getting thrown down. Still, the second base isn't done yet for Nosfico Mule. So let's not forget that uh, Addict has quite a bit more income if he can keep all his drones alive, or even his probes. <laughs> if he can keep them alive and mining, that uh, gives him quite a bit of an advantage. Wow, and Thor is coming up, but I think Addict is prepared for that because he has got two Immortals and that will probably be enough. But a Raven is also there and I really love that choice. This poor probe. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, this is also... He knew that probe was coming, man. He was just sitting there with the Banshee also to scout. He's not just hanging in, in, with a Banshee in the back something like that because he, he's, he, he used it quite well I, I really like it now though the uh, energy has run dry there are enough observers on the map and enough stalkers to deal with uh, with everything so now it's up to Nose of Eagle Mule who quickly saturates his natural to do something and look at that a mech play versus the Protoss player Thor out and another Thor in the process of building but this is of course a, uh, a slow build to get going but uh, if he has a death army of lots of blue flame hellions and uh, Thors with all the upgrades, then it's quite hard to stop. Yes, it's hard to stop, but you need the Raven. If the Raven is going to be feedbacked or something like that, then he is not in a good spot. Yeah, you're very, very right about that. Needed for the point defense drone, so that mm -hmm. the, actually the stalkers cannot target anything for uh, just a crucial couple of seconds again. Being annoying with the Banshee, as you should. It's just to poke here and there. It's to force a reaction as well, though. Addict uh, does have a little bit higher APM. So he should be able to uh, to do everything he needs to do. But still, I mean, it's uh, very responsible for Nice Vigod Mule. And he has uh, still, or it, l it looks like he has map control, but of course, Addict is in charge of this watchtower and is putting down some very, very nice uh, pylons here. 
Oh, he sees the raven. Really be aware. Well, it probably is, but what's he gonna do about it? Yeah, well, okay, he, he has seen... Now he sees a lot of uh, Hellions. He's seen the Raven. So he'll be like, okay, what kind of composition would that be? That is the only thing what's over its... Marine, of, uh, sorry, a Hellion with some kind of tech stuff, or with Marauders, right? But Marauders, he hasn't seen any buyer yet, so... The, that yeah, I, I, but I think he's, he's quite aware of uh, of the opponent's um, composition here. It's uh, the Colossus uh, choice that's actually, I think, quite nice. Of course, it's uh, not, a, not a weird choice by any means, but uh, I think we saw a previous opponent to this build go for Immortals exclusively, but of course the Colossus deals so much damage to those uh, Hellions as well. Yes, and in my opinion he can Chrono Boost a little more, because one Nexus is sitting on 100 energy and the other on 65, so what if he could Chrono Boost his uh, Thermal Lens upgrade and maybe some uh, some units, for example the Colossus out, mm -hmm. but instead he chooses to Chrono Boost the Nexus? No, oh, he, he was Chrono Boosting everything, man, just, uh, just now. Oh, so. just now, okay. So I was a little bit too early with my uh, commentary. Actually, um, the Nexus goes down just besides the Hellion, who does manage to shoot uh, the little pro after, right after that. But um, this army is quite scary, of course. Uh, the, the more Thors are being added in, the stronger this army gets as well, because Thors are just so meaty and they absorb a lot of uh, the AoE damage from uh, the Colossus. Yeah, and going Mac versus a Protoss player, well... I kind of like that, man. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's quite uncommon, I think. I, I, I know I haven't done it, but uh, then again, maybe I haven't done a lot of things. Well, I, actually, when I started this game, I was always going Mac because I saw Goody doing it. So I was like, <laughs> okay, I'm also going to do that. <laughs> and then you realize that, uh, I don't know. Well, good, Goody is a good player, of course. He's, he's very, very good. But... Uh, uh, Banshee survives with 10 HP. <laughs> he loves his Banshees. Anyway, so, there's uh, a single engineering bay here. Maybe it's just to uh, put down turrets if uh, needed. Yes, and a couple of SCV at the uh, uh, engineering bay are having a tea party. Definitely, but they don't want to see each other. They are on the other side of the building. Well, they maybe have a smoke break or something. I don't know. Well, I believe I believe the the north side is for cappuccino and the south side is for green tea or something. Oh, okay, very good. Now that we have that established, yes, I really like this uh, this build. Move on safely to see wow. the probes getting slaughtered here. Nice, nice, nice move there from now. So got He does lose a lot of those uh, of those hellions, but he evened up the. Worker count, and of course, with mules. Yes. And he made a little mistake by upgrading ship uh, ship weapons instead of vehicle weapons. But he saw it and he... Um, oh, he cancelled it. it, yeah, okay. And actually, this Banshee will go down now. Oh, oh, poor Banshee. Okay, but actually, th this build reminds me also uh, the kind of build I believe Bomber did. But then instead of all those uh, Hellions, he used uh, a lot of Marines. So he had the be uh, he had the meat the marines for the meal shield, the meat shield, the banshees for. Um and now actually we have a Ow. kind of huge engagement with this point of fence drone being thrown down. And actually it might be very important for Addict here to have drawn out this point of fence drone because it's very expensive. Just one raven in the mix and it just has uh, enough energy for one more point of fence drone. So that basically uh, stops the advance of uh, Nice Vigo Mule for a little bit. Yep, sure is true, and he's also adding some ghosts right now, so EMPs will also be there. So actually, I think he looks in quite a good shape, uh, no SV got mill. He's got his upgrades going and stuff like that. I was enjoying the view there on uh, our nice addict army, it's just four colossus in a row. It looks quite strong, and uh, if you look at this composition, you think, no way. But actually, look at how strong this is. The Banshee's dealing massive amounts of damage to the ground, whereas the uh, the Hellions are just so numerous. 
they soak up damage and actually these blue flame hellions do a lot of damage as well. Oh, let's see, and here are also some... Ed is moving in, the point defense drone is going down. A lot of these hellions, they are melting so fast through the Colossi. And actually, the, the ghost there gets taken out. But he did land on an EMP, if I was correct. Uh, yeah, on, uh, on some of the units. But, uh, it's not the biggest deal. War Prism there with a single sentry. Not entirely sure what he wants to do with that. Oh, actually, I am sure what he wants to do with it. He wants to drop it here. And then uh, put a, a wall here on the on the ramp and warp in more units. <laughs> but oh, that's hurtful, man. Oh, and this is also hurtful. Look at this engagement, but they st still choose to retreat. Well, of course, this mech army isn't the most mobile one, so maybe Addict could choose to some warp pr prism harassment, which he did. But yeah, which he of tried course. To do. You would say that Hellions are quite mobile, but no, in this composition, they have to be here to protect the tanks and protect the Thors, the meaty, valuable units. And if they are gone, then, you know, you cannot really split up a mech army for that reason. Look at the amount of tanks, it's really uh, quite a siege here. Both players on Six three bases, tanks. but <laughs> of course, no SV got Mule now, is taking his fourth. And that's a nice position to be in. It sure is, and he's feeling confident again because the fort base is an orbital command instead of a planetary fortress. Yeah. <laughs> and Adek throwing away some stalkers here for no good reason. He's actually forced off the Zelnaga Watchtower, which is quite important. Actually, just uh, no vehicle mule could plant a unit there. Stalkers though with Blink here on the high ground and they are going to uh, deplete this point defense drone, that's quite nice. He just moved his, uh, his Raven a little bit uh, more in position. Oh and he actually put oh, a okay. the turret there. <laughs> that's oh, quite th nice, you don't see them used uh, in useful ways quite often but uh, well here we do. One tank moving forward, he's the brave one. And here we go, no we are not going yet. This is such a test, it's like watching TVT but then with a l huge Protoss Death Ball army instead of just some tanks shooting at each other. It looks way more tense, doesn't it Odie? Yes it does, we are really waiting for some engagement uh, to happen and they're just you know, poking each other a little. But oh, here goes uh, Warp Prism again, let's see what he's going to do with that. Because meanwhile he's adding uh, some more um, gateways, that's for restoring his army, army when it's being um, shot down. Wow, look at this man. Lots okay. of base, but of course this fourth base isn't really mining and I don't think it will start mining because uh, this, this siege uh, can just uh, cause the death of so many probes instantaneously. Now there's a single immortal Hello. here, but it gets taken down. Nice okay, what, what well. will be going through Addict's mind right now? Okay, there's a big fat um, mech army sitting in front of me, but oh, look at the salads. They're going to harass here and there. So, okay, he wants to try to catch no SUV got mule unseaged. What? He retreats. Wait, he retreats. Oh, he didn't actually see it yet, I think. He wants to. I don't know. I'm not quite sure what that move was about, but uh, I guess we'll find out as no SUV got mule cancels. This ah, building, yeah, okay, uh, okay. So we just nice. want to poke with one. Um. <coughs> but, oh, this is going to be a, for a fortress. I like that quite a bit. Sim City to prevent these little counter attacks. And actually, uh, some Hellions are coming back here to deal with the Zealots. Yes. They will get a tank. That's a nice pickup. Yes, but I actually would go, would attack the, the tower, the sensor tower right there. What do you think? Oh, oh wow! Some Good snipes, snipes going. there. <laughs> Very nicely done. And uh, actually, Addict thinks it's time to go. He walks in, but the stalkers first, and the tanks do massive amounts of damage. Are there more tanks at the back? Yes, but the blink in is quite strong. Can all these oh, banshees do the damage that they need to down. do? And is he able to clean up this army? The banshees are close. That's a big issue because he cannot attack the banshees. And let's see. Yes, while the 
uh, Hellions were out of possession, he decided to move in. He's still behind the supply, but let's see what he's going to do next. A Dark Shrine almost completed, so, but eight battle cruisers are being in the build of no SCV God Mule. So let's see what's going to happen. A big air force here is going to attack Attic quite soon. Yeah, that uh, the transition there from a no SCV God Mule was uh, building up for quite a while, and we had to wait a little bit. But uh, wait, why are the Avengers not targeting those tar- uh, well, Now all the storms go down. Look at that noise vehicle mule being psychic about when the observer would arrive. <laughs> Nicely done. Yes, nine uh, battle cruisers in the mix being built. That's quite some heavy duty. Nah, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, I wish Addict could make a mother ship. <laughs> oh yeah, then we could see. Uh, and I don't know next, but remember the the GSL. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is uh, <laughs> not Metropolis. Oh, do bad. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, that definitely would be awesome. Of course, um, he needs to do something against these battle crews because they are two two and they are quite strong. But uh, of course, this RB is getting less mobile and less mobile by the minute. While uh, Addict has some blink stalkers here, so maybe he can do something with those. He's re Running into the range of the sensor tower right now, and Again, here is the moment of truth. All the battle shooters are engaged. And let's see what is going to happen. Some feedbacks are being thrown down, but I believe all the high templars are being out of energy or being killed. And this looks like the final battle. Lots of battle crews as well. What are you going to do about that as a Protoss player? GG! <laughs> You called it OD, what are you going to do against such a composition? You realize that you're way behind and you say GG, well played. And uh, yeah, with that, Noise Vigal Mule takes the series 2-0 and he's on into the round of 8. Very nicely done. Head off to Addict here for making it this far into the Dutch StarCraft League qualifiers. But yes. better luck next time, Noise Vigal Mule was the better one in two games here. Okay, and meanwhile we are probably 